This right here is a huge worry of mine, folks. Um, Journey and Pig Newton, he's hard to see there, he's in the shadows. Uh, they've come out into the pasture. I come out to feed and uh, I got the, the cows here with me. And Journey, uh, you know, I like to let her out to, uh, oh, you are making a mess. But uh, she just gets so close, I worry about her. So I don't like to keep her in the yard because she's so bored. And she likes to follow Pig Newton around. He can't stay in the yard. This is that situation where sometimes you got to protect an animal from itself. Because, oh, no. What do you think you're doing over here? What are you doing out? All right. This just went from bad to worse. You are a baby. You're tiny. You cannot be over here. You need to be... Hey, can y'all help? We're going to have to catch her. Come here, you. You are just a little... You're a little thing. You can't be out. Okay, so here's what I was doing. Uh, I put the horses out back, back. Y'all want to see this chick, don't you? You all just want to see that chick. No one wants to hear what I got to say. You all want to just see the chick and Journey and Pig Newton. And Pig Newton just wants to love Daddy. Boy, he just wants to love Daddy. That's all he wants to do. Okay, so let's get back to what I was saying. I do have a purpose and an intent of making this video. It wasn't to video the animals eating necessarily, even though I do try to give them a little breakfast every morning. I put the horses out back. Uh, I'm leaving the cows up front. Um, but what worries me is that all the little babies from the nighttime stall... When I open that stall up to let them out, they want to explore. They want to see the farm. They don't want to stay contained into a pasture or a small yard all day. And so we know that eventually Pig Newton will go in with the littles. That's going to happen pretty soon. But uh, I, I'm just terrified of what could happen to Journey. She wants to follow him around or follow me around or follow the dogs around. And... Uh, she could get stepped on and hurt really bad. So, this is that kind of thing that the vet said. And uh, guys, we it's very likely that we're going to all disagree here. Please don't hate because I don't, may not agree with you. But like the vet said, Lester, with Journey, is kind of like what they say with people who have a terminal illness. It's not the quantity of life, it's the quality. And so you're going to say, oh, yeah, so let her get stomped on and see what kind of quality that is. No, that's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying is giving her the chance to explore, giving her the chance to walk around and be a goat for the short time that she'll be here with us, giving her a chance to walk around and smell things and nibble on things. But all I was saying was it terrifies me the places that she finds herself. So yeah, I could pick her up and I could carry her inside that fenced in yard and give her a 30 feet by 30 feet enclosed, safe place. But today she's made her way out here into the barnyard, the little corral area here, along with this little chick who I'm still holding. I come in to pick up my bucket and then I'll move her and it just worries me, folks. It just worries me. Because moose is not mean. Neither is Santana or Tex. But they're big. And sometimes big animals can accidentally do things. I'm putting this chick inside this little bucket for now. And then I will carry her 
or him back inside the inside the stall where they should be they should be in the stall they are too young to be walking around out here in the in the crowd i'm gonna go ahead and let newton journey just continue what they're doing here and uh, the pigs are being pigs and journey's just being a pig's companion right now <laughs> she just doesn't want to be left alone yeah, make sure nothing bad can happen uh it's cute because the little ducks have still yet to make their way towards the pond they still choose to hang out here in the hay um let me show you what's going on over here uh there's the other chicks there's the other chicks right there that's where they're supposed to be how this one here keeps getting out i don't well i guess i do know it's a jumper uh he or she is a jumper but uh, i believe they need to stay under that heat lamp for a while longer they're way too young to be out and about uh this girl here um her name is joan she can be out and about she just likes to come inside the cage inside of the stall she's only been here for a couple of days and she's just not real comfy yet with nate okay nate is her guy friend and she's not real comfy with nate yet okay so now you know what the layup the, is what's going on this morning i'm out working trying to well do my normal morning chores if you guys don't know what that is it's a of course a feed up i take the horses out back to give them all the extra pasture to graze on i've been leaving santana up in the front folks i'll tell you why and i don't want to get your hopes up but look at her bag look at her bag guys her bag is beginning to expand to swell up a little bit now i have not seen oh i gotta keep an eye on him i have not seen anything naughty going on here in a while in a very long while but that's not to say that they don't do the do at night while i'm sleeping okay <laughs> that sounds horrible to talk about uh Oh, and I just hope that if there is something in that belly, it belongs to Tex over there and not Billy again. Moo is just a rescue, so he doesn't really count. But what we want to have here are Longhorn because they're so hardy. My God, they're hardy. H-A-R-D-Y. Guys, if you don't know, have you not noticed how he has not lost an ounce of weight throughout the entire winter? Uh, same for Santana, same for Pearl. They can just eat anything and thrive on it. That's why they are they do so well here in Texas. Anyway, okay, so this video is going all over the place. Um, that was, it's never my intention. It just kind of happens sometimes. Uh, these little guys are making their way around real well. Now they're, they're old enough to come out and do what they do, help keep cleaned up around the farm. And we're very blessed to have them. Okay, so I got some jobs I'm gonna continue working on. Everything's good inside here. Joan has come out, the four of them are still together. Um, and so we're good. I will leave this stall door open just for Joan because she didn't wanna be cooped up in here all day. And of course, these guys like to come back in to get a bite to eat and a, uh, a sip of water every once in a while so we really can't close off the uh, stall what i might have to do is to either take out some of that pine shaving to make it where the, it'd be a harder way to harder to get out that would also put them further from the light so okay i got some thinking to do that means i should time to call jamie <laughs> no, no if lester has thinking to do it means time to call jamie